Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to today's video. Um, I'm recording this today and it's going to be tomorrow's video, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, t I'm going to do a bit of stripping. I'm not going to go into as much detail as last time, but I am still going to do a video on it every time I do it. Um, it's just part of my vlogging, I think. If you look behind me there, uh, can you see? I've got the import in with a Super Red Dragon Girl. She's just about to lay. I have about like 10% faith in them actually breeding together. But I figure while I'm in the room for such a period of time, it'd be good to try them together and just watch them. Um, my other male's been a psycho, so I've taken him out. He's just not, not gonna breed this time. He's having a bit of a time out, I reckon. I don't even know where to start, guys. Benga, there's like four in there, four mouthfuls in there, but they're probably at the bottom of the list, I reckon. I've got a fair few growing out. Pongi, I feel like are a must. I think I can see at least three mouthfuls in there. Um, marbles. So there's two marbles holding in there, but I've been selective breeding from one female, so uh, there's the boy. Oh, I'm zooming out. Oh no. There's the boy. Um, I just want times one, please. Alright, so. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pick her now. See that, that orangey one there is a female. That's the one I've been breeding from. But there's quite a nice colour one holding there. But then if you look at the one there with minimal spots, I'm not really that keen on stripping from her. Anyway, so they're on the list. Uh, there was a Masobo holding, but I don't know if she still is or not, but I'm not gonna strip them yet because they're still young. Um, I wish these guys would breed. But, huh. There's a Fusco mouthful. I'm gonna let them, her hold full term I think uh, that's a first time mouthful which I like to say I'm pretty excited about oh what hang on hold your breath we got two fucking mouthfuls in there how did we go from these guys haven't bred yet to two mouthfuls in a matter of days looks like one of the males has stepped up that was my original girl so she's older and then I was only saying yesterday that the younger girl's holding before the older girl. And now look at him go. Um, he's starting to get some serious colour. They're going to be wicked fish. They're still only like 10 to 12 centimetres. So they've still got a double in size yet. But that's fucking wicked. And then there's a couple of mouthfuls down there. But obviously you can't see in these tanks. I have to wipe the glass before I uh, think about it. Man, I'm so tempted to strip the Fuscos, but it's it's not what I do, but I've done it a couple of times. I've did it with the Buckachromus. I stripped her first time simply because I'm worried about him killing her, and look what's happened. They haven't bred since, not once, so I feel like it's a bad thing to do. I've always been told it's bad. I've always not done it because it's bad. Oh, we've got a dragon blood mouthful. Um... So, I've got dragon bloods with electric yellows. There is a very small possibility that they would cross. Um, I know plenty of people that have done it. I'm hesitant to do it myself because I, all my tanks are species only. So, this is a bit of an experiment with me. Um, obviously, if I got any fish that were slightly at all the wrong shape, I wouldn't sell them. But I've heard it works, and it's not just one person that's told me that. So. I'm trying it, I'm trying it, and I don't really care for dragon bloods that much. I was given these, I wouldn't actually pay money for them, but they seem to be good sellers apparently. My male isn't coloured up, and that's simply because I took an, an, uh, the main male out of there a week or so ago, and um, he still hasn't fully coloured up, but the male that I took out was nice. Guys, this is getting outrageous. So, two Fusco's holding in a, in a week. They've never bred before. Um, I just said that, but 
And then I'm standing here like looking at them, adjusting the light, trying to get a nice photo of the male, which I didn't get by the way, because this tank is shit for lighting. And then, look. Where is it, where is it? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, there, up the top. Boom. Sorry guys, also, this tank is no good for lighting. Red Empress holding. Um, that's the male down there. He's only just started colouring up. These guys are only five, six centimetres. Oh, maybe a bit more, six to seven centimetres. And there's a mouthful in there. So that, what a week guys. So Fusco's, Red Emperor's, and Masobo. All fresh breeders within a week of each other. Um, shit's just going on around here, eh? Um, electric yellows were a couple of weeks ago, first mouthfuls, and it was from like, um, that one, that girl there, like, not much black, but look at the red, insane, absolutely insane fish. Um, the dragon bloods I haven't pulled from yet, uh, they have held before, so I'll probably strip, strip her, but, so that is dragon bloods, masobo, electric yellows, red empress, and fascos within say three weeks there's the male there he hasn't <clears throat> he's starting to color up I definitely want to wait and see what he looks like these guys are the um, super super red empress they're from a friend of mine there that he should end up an insane looking fish you can see like through his face and his fin, he's already popping. He just hasn't got the red through his body yet. Um, I won't, I won't, I don't think I'll strip them. I won't say I won't. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to. No, no, Brendan, no. Don't strip young fish. All right, so we're like how many minutes into this video and I haven't even started what I said I was going to do. I'm just really overwhelmed to be honest. But, but, I can't breed these things. Like what the hell? You're a pain in the ass. Um, I know that male's not gonna work, but this guy, he's a dick. Absolute wanker. They got along for months and then when I try to breed them, they, they've, they've actually bred once, but I pulled the plate too quick and it was like human error and I killed it all. Anyway, we've got a job to do. Stop getting sidetracked. Let's go. Man, guys, I couldn't get any more sidetracked if I tried. It's been literally an hour since I recorded that last little clip. And um, I've only just caught the first fish. So it's a Kobe, Kobe Blue. A Lunacara female. Um, if you're interested to learn a bit more about how I strip, uh, just go My last stripping video has some detailed information on how I do it. Alright guys, I don't like doing this but those eggs and those eggs are like within minutes of each other. They're at the same stage, same fit, type of fish. Um, I'm gonna put them in a tumbler together because from what I can count, I've got like over 20 females holding because I've been complacent with um, stripping and I'm useless at stripping wrigglers. So I know, I've only got eight tumblers. I know, an idiot, right? Um, Let's talk about that later. Uh, hopefully when I land this cash, or when this cash is paid for that I'm doing, I'll invest in another 10 I reckon. But right now, I bought those new fish today, which are up the top back corner. Hopefully I haven't accidentally got them in the video. But, what was my point? Oh yeah, I got no money. No money at all, because fish equals zero dollars.
Alright guys, so this is a Demasoni or Demasonite, some people call it. I don't know which one's right. So, oh we could use the swimmers, that's good for our tumbler situation. So, I text the Cobalt Blues and the Nkali and none of them are holding which is a bit strange for them. I did put my hand in their tank and it did feel quite cool. I might throw a thermometer down there. Their tank's the closest to the door and I still haven't finished off that seal that I did in the other videos. I still haven't put the rubber around the seal so you can still feel some cool air. Um, this female's not perfect but I've been getting good fry from her so I'm, I'm still breeding her. So here we got a super red top hungy. More swimmers, that's good. What did I just say? Did I say red top hongi? So I'm only showing one of each female in the video. So uh, you, she's gone quite dark already just because of me picking her up. But yeah, in the water, these guys are stunning. So guys, next is Benga. Um, I've just caught three females at once. So I figure I'll strip them all at once. It might get a bit confusing when separating the eggs, but why not, hey? I'm at the point where I don't have enough tumblers, so I'm grouping eggs. I've, I've never done it before, but I actually saw um, Jason do it the other day in um, one of his videos, so I'm going to give it a go. So all three are swimmers, so it actually looks like I might run out of fry savers before I run out of egg tumblers. Uh, fry savers were definitely the underdog here, so see what happens. Alright guys, drag dragon blood female. So before when I said it's the first time holding, um, I think that was a little bit of a lie. Now that I've thought about it, I have had one mouthful. which I think was in my last stripping video but they were infertile that's so they look pretty dark so um yes they have I have stripped before but this sh sh hopefully is the first fertile batch um I'm not too worried about stripping these fish because they're not they're not overly young I wouldn't mind doing a fresh colony of them anyway because um, they haven't been good breeders so she's quite colourful for a girl. Catching a few at a time might be my new way. Um, the only problem is I don't know which one's about those. So I know I said I wasn't going to strip this female marble but I don't know. The way, the way I see it She's the same blood as the good as the good coverage ones. So there's any chance that the there's there's no reason that the fry won't be as good. She has some great orange to her, so she's not a bad fish, she's just not what I'm chasing. So I'll select some out from the fry and I'll do it that way rather than just not keep the fry. Um, there's no reason to not keep the fry. So this girl here is by far my best. Like, look at that pearling through her. She is gorgeous. Um, so the the marbles are the last fish that I plan to strip. She's already spat the fry up. 
the marbles are the last fish that I plan to strip. Um, and then we've just got the controversial ones like Fosco's and Red Empress, which I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave them. I do it properly. It's, it's going to be worth it in the long run. Uh, like, as much as I'm itching to do it, I'm dying to do it, but it's the wrong thing to do. So we're going to leave them. So as a conclusion, guys, we ended up with two, one, yeah, two free tumblers. Um, I stripped one, two, I stripped five, six, seven, eight, nine, I stripped 21 females, so I'm pretty stoked with that. Um, I think I did run out of fry savers, but so these are loaded. Um, I've got heaps of fry spaces with only a few fry in after the auction, and so I need to go through and move everything around. Most of my fry can live together, except for code blue and. Uh, what do you call it, Benga. Those two look the same as Fry. They are kind of identifiable as Fry, but not, uh, not identifiable enough that I'd be confident in separating them. I get so paranoid with them, and it's the, main, and it's the reason I don't breed more peacocks, because peacocks are practic basically my favourite. Um, I am leading more to all haps now, um, predators, but I think, so the main thing with them is they all look completely different as fry, which is wicked. I thought I'd have one more look before I left the room. I fed everyone and I was like, the dimmy comp had, the wide, had a wide jaw, but like no sag underneath. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that she's holding. And um, she was. I'm absolutely stoked wrigglers. I don't know if you remember the last batch were in fertile because I stripped too early. But I, I was thinking about getting rid of these guys. And while I was there, I, I grabbed them all out. Um, I had a vent. There's, def there's four confirmed girls, like 100% girls and one male. So there's no reason they shouldn't be good breeders. But I'm actually wondering if this is my fault. This tank, sorry it's completely trashed, I've just destroyed it. This tank is really low. Um, dimmy comps don't hold their mouth out as far as other fish. Like, I, I definitely struggled to see that mouthful there. So I'm wondering this if this is just personal error and inexperience with this fish, this particular fish. And I wonder how many mouthfuls I've actually missed from these guys. So yeah, that that's awesome. I'm so stoked. This has been that's 22 mouthfuls tonight. I think that's the that's the biggest haul I've ever done, and um, the variety is huge. Like that's 22 mouthfuls. Uh, a lot of them were singles, and there was like four that were there's a few that were three and a few that were four. So. Uh, yeah, I'm stoked. My main goal with my fish room is variety. I don't want to breed like 20 of one fish. I'm happy to strip like, well 20 is a good number I think. It was any bigger than that and I would it would take too long. If I could strip 20 fish that's 10 varieties once a fortnight, that would be a goal. Like, I just want like one or two mouthfuls from each, each group of fish. Otherwise you just get inundated with fry of that fish. So I'm going to wrap today's video up there guys, um, if you like what you saw hit like, hit subscribe, um, I see the subscribers are climbing at a pretty impressive rate so I'm happy with that. Um, my goal is still 1000, um, I, I, I really don't think that that is impossible. I can see myself getting to there within maybe 4 months, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'll catch you later. Uh, the video after this, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what time I'm getting home from Dunthra on Sunday. So, it might be some, I might, actually, you know what? Sunday's video is going to be about my trip. 
I'm vlogging my life to a certain extent. I don't want this to be just about fish. I want you guys to see what I get up to and going to Dunsborough to see my mum, uh, my granddad's 80th, that's a huge part of my life. So that's going on my channel. So that's what we're gonna see on Sunday. All right, see you guys.